Hey guys what's up it's Calm Marker channel and this time I'm going to show you a how to running this ring totary with Lightburn. As you know, last time we did it with EasyCAD, if you guys have any questions or something you want to discuss with us, don't forget to leave comments in the comment section. Alright, let's get it. The first step is still connect our driver to the machine in the rotary. You can see a wire stretch from the rotary, there are 4 pins in the extremity on the other side, connected with the hole which have 4 pins on the driver. And take out the other wire with 5 pins on each extremity, use this wire to connect the machine and the driver. You can find there is a little arc here, align it with the arc at the interface so that they can fit each other easily. Then connect the power cable to the power supplier and turn on the machine. The next step is to adjust focus to the ring, replace the ring under the red light, make the red link point be on the ring. In the software, we input a word that can fit inside the ring. This time, we input, beautiful, in the software, select the font, and adjust the font size. In the upper right corner, we can select, fill, or, offset fill, mode. Next, double click on the horizontal line where, mode, is located to enter the parameter settings. Here, there are options for speed, power, and frequency that can be adjusted according to your needs. The line interval option determines that the larger the value, the greater the interval between the lines. Next, click on the Laser Tool, and then select the Rotate Setup option. Here, you can see the type of roller you are using. I am using a ring roller, so I selected this chuck mode. If you click on Enable Rotary, it will activate the roller preview. Reverse Rotary Direction is used to rotate in the opposite direction. When engraving inside a ring, remember to check this option. Split setup is used to adjust the character spacing. The larger the value, the greater the spacing, but the value should not be too large, otherwise the curvature of the engraving will be affected. Then, we select the X or Y axis in the Rotary Axis option. Enter the value in Steps for Rotation, and click on the Test button on the left. If the test result shows that the roller rotates exactly one full turn, then the value entered in Steps for Rotation is correct and precise. Typically, the Steps for Rotation for rollers produced by COM Marker is 12,800. Let's measure the diameter, which is 20 millimeters. Enter the ring diameter and object diameter, and the circumference will be automatically calculated. Now let's select frame to preview. Selecting bounds will show a border. Selecting pole will show the approximate range outside the characters. And selecting contour will show the characters in preview. If the character size is not suitable, we can also adjust the character size from the toolbar above. Everything is ready, now let's start it. For internal engraving, change the rotary position. Take out the ring and change the direction then install our ring. Adjust the focus distance again. If you want to engrave the inside of the ring, don't forget to click the reverse right here. 
Other things could be the same. Let's do it for once. Okay, done.